Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. Angular 14 has been released in the market, and here we will talk about new features and improvements of Angular 14. Keep in mind, this is the overview video of uh, features and improvement. Here we will talk about that uh, what are the new features, where we can use them, how we can uh, use this feature, and how they are helpful in Angular projects. I am not going to implement these feature with coding in that part for these i will make separate videos for each uh, each feature so let's start with the first feature which is standalone components standalone components means components which are not dependent on any another thing uh, for example in angular 13 and before that uh, components are actually dependent on uh, modules so let's say in any component you want to import any uh, another external module or uh, pipes or directories or any other custom hook so for that first of all you have to import these things in the module file then you are able to use them in uh, angular component i am just going to show you an example so let's say uh, in this app.component.ts file you want to import some directories or pipes right but to use these uh, pipes or directives you have to import them first of all in app.module.ts file like here like you can see that browser module and app router module are imported uh, imported here right so you have to import all these things which is needed in the app dot component we have to import in uh, uh, in app.module.ts file but actually they are required in app.component.ts so what now they actually make a change now you can import these things directly inside the app.component.ts file here like you can just simply put here import and uh, then you can make an array like this right so but how this is possible how these components are different from another component first thing is that you if you just make simple component then the, uh, these things will not actually work first of all you have to just run this command ng generate component component name and minus minus or uh, uh, hyphen hyphen standalone after that this component will be generated a component like this will be generated here you will find a symbol standalone true that means this is basically a standalone component in your application right and after that you can import anything here and you can use inside this this component so what is the benefit of that thing actually the question is here so for example in a module you have 20 components and in uh, 20 components in only single component you want to import lots of directives or pipes or any other thing right but for that you have to import all these things inside the app.model.ts which are applicable for all these 20 components and it can make your application slower now if you need these all uh, this stuff only inside a component you can import directly inside your component right and now the second thing is let's say you want to uh, reuse a single component then you can import these things in a single component and uh, you can use it anywhere you don't need actually a module at all right but there is actually a twist i just want to tell you that this thing is still not stable in angular 14. this is actually mentioned in the official documentation i will just give you the link of uh, uh, this blog in the description box here you can see that but are not stable api will be potentially change outside and blah 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 right so what actually they want to say that standalone component are still not stable maybe there is some glitch maybe there is some warning and in any other corner cases there it should be some error so they, they are good for learning purpose if you are just making poc and small project they might work but if you are working any large complex official project then you should not use this uh, feature right all right and this is the example that how actually you can use the standalone component even if you uh, just make a simple component then directly you can add this standalone true uh, you don't need even that command if you just simply make a component you can that uh, standalone to do component and you can import these things right so this sh uh, thing should work now the second thing is typed angular form what actually happened in angular uh, 13 let's say uh, one more thing actually in angular there is a two types of form first one is uh, template driven second one is a reactive here we are talking about 
reactive form not template driven form so what actually happen in uh, angular 30s 13s reactive form so let's say you defined a type of any form and uh, let's say the type of that is a uh, string right after that when you want to update its value you just update it with the numeric value or boolean value or any another value and it will work perfectly fine there is a no error at all right this actually not a good practice for uh, angular because angular actually internally using typescript so for that what actually angular uh, uh, just uh, introduced now in angular 14 they introduced the typed angular form right so uh, now if you will just use this code in angular form that is strictly type so let's say our one field is first name or last name is a uh, string and you want to assign here some numeric value or any another value then it will give you the warning or error right so that is actually happening in angular 14 so now let's say you want to don't want to use this typed angular form then what you need to do here for that now you you can just simply use your untyped form group right and it will not give you any kind of error when you will use uh, when you will update the any uh, unaccepted uh, value like say uh, first name is a uh, string type but if you just make it numeric boolean or object then it will perfectly work fine right if you will use untyped form group right that's it that is the second thing uh, third thing is a page uh, title accessibility what actually happened in angular 13 and before that there is really hard to implement the uh, to change the title of the title with the different different uh, pages for let's say you have the home page about us page and if you want to change the title of these page it's really hard but in angular 14 this is really easy you can simply use your title property and you can just update it this is that is really simple or uh, let's say you want to make uh, your um, title dynamic that time you can use okay let me just show you uh, just give me a moment guys so that time you can use uh, one more moment this kind of example like uh, you can just use injectable template title page strategy and uh, you can just make your page dynamic here like this right all right so now uh, the next feature is extended developer diagnostic so what actually happened in the previous uh, versions in angular so if there is an error in the ts file so i just want to show you here if in the ts file or uh, in the css file and another file you will get definitely an error so let's say i'm just adding something like this then you will get here a red line and it will just say that there is some error and all but if you just made any mistake inside the template uh, page it will not give any kind of error any kind of warning in angular 13 and before it but now if you will make mistakes in template form you will get the warnings here you can see that uh, there is actually banana bracket problem i will tell you what is that uh, banana in a box problem so that is the issue and either you you don't need to actually use the uh, double question mark so so that's why this is actually just uh, saying that uh, you can just improve this code or uh, there is uh, some error right it will tell you uh, while you are writing the code so you don't need to just run your code and wait till your code is compiled and uh, you will get the error in the browser you can directly get these errors inside your code editor right so all right so in the uh, extended developer diagnostic one more uh, thing you will get that catch the invalid banana inbox what actually happen in lots of time we will use this the banana inbox like this uh, first we will use small bracket and then uh, you can say that uh, square bracket right but actually we should use your square bracket first then smaller bracket so uh, actually freshers and beginners make made this make uh, they they made these kind of mistakes and now if you will make this kind of mistakes you will get the warning here proper warning right inside your uh, code editor if you will use visual studio or any ad advanced uh, uh, code editor right so you don't need to just wait to your when your code will be run and then it will execute and then it will give error it will save your lots of time 
and same thing is mentioned here let me just uh, go with that here you can so see that uh, how it's actually give you the error and how you can resolve them so this is the official documentation so let's say you you will hover on on that and it will just show you the uh, hint that what should uh, what uh, improvement you can make here and how you can remove your error right and same thing uh, they are mentioned about the banana about uh, box right so these are the changes uh, for uh, better diagnostic and uh, next thing is uh, they made some enhancement in angular cli which is a three enhancement angular compilation angular uh, completion first one second one is uh, analytics and third one is cache so angular analytics is a bigger change i will tell you within a moment uh, but first of all let's talk about ng uh, analytics and ng cache and i will show you them on the official documentation so here you can see that first one is there so what actually uh, analytics will do that in your angular project can be directly connected with the uh, angular analytics uh, sorry google analytics to if you want to just uh, check out the informations or you want to check out the uses of your application then it can be connected by default this is disabled but if you want to enable it you can enable it and now this is possible with the uh, command line also you can just mention here ng uh, analytics and you can check there uh, you can enable it you can disable it you can just check the information about it whatever you want to do you can do that and same thing you can do with the cache so you know that uh, when we are using uh, angular then we can just make some things with the cache we can just store some data inside the cache and if you want to check this cache disable it enable it delete it you can do it with the command line and now let's talk about which is uh, my favorite one but actually it will not work in any uh, everywhere i will tell you why so ng completion is uh, sometime when we are just making component or we are running any command we made some typos right even they are mentioned that typos are the most common reasons of command line prompt throw error right so when you just start typing your command they will actually uh, auto suggest the com complete line like we are uh, just making some code in the code editor they show the intelligence with the auto complete with the same way now with the editor you you can get these uh, uh, auto completion right and uh, you can just choose that command and you can run it but there is some issue actually this command actually not work with the windows cli i can show you i tried to run it and they said that if you are using windows cmd or powershell don't support command line auto completion but git bash and window uh, system for Linux uh, should work. Ye, ye actu they'll actually work, but uh, if you are uh, Bash and Jazz will work, but if you are using Windows command line, that is not actually working as I just using here Windows command line. So they will only work with the uh, Linux system or Bash. If you are using the Git Bash, then definitely it will work. And then you can use this nice feature. All right. So uh, that's all for this part if you still have uh, any question any query you can ask me in the comment box and i will make separate video for all these features so that i can explain you better with the coding example and interview question and please support me by like uh, my video subscribe my channel and uh, uh, provide the valuable feedback in comment box thank you so much